You know, the great thing about nature is in watching things grow. A little baby gets bigger as it eats and it grows. Trees grow bigger. You know, they never thought that there was mathematical formulas that could track nature. And they came up with fractal geometry, which really says if a tree starts out really small and it has three prongs on it, then those three prongs will grow a little bit bigger and they'll branch out to three more prongs. And it's actually a beautiful geometry that can actually track nature. Well, Teradata uses a little bit of both the growing process and a little fractal information because what happens is when you load data, ooh, it puts it all in a little baby block like a little suitcase. And then as more data comes in, it says, oh, I need more room. It continues to grow that block until it's about the size of a big suitcase. And eventually it gets so big that they go, we're going to have to split. And now instead of one big block, we're going to have two smaller blocks. And that's the cold hard fact that you really also need to understand. What do we have here? This table's getting much bigger. They loaded the first block until it reached the maximum block size, and then each amp split as more data came in. So we've got two blocks on each amp. If we do a full table scan on this table, each amp will bring in the first block, process it. They'll bring in the second block to memory, process it, and that's the way it's going to work. What have we learned about how each amp sorts its data? By the row ID. Now take a look at this example. We've got our two amps. They've got their blocks that have gotten so big they had to split those. But these blocks are still sorted by row ID. I want you to realize that when amps do a lookup, and they use an index. It's like a phone book. Hey, let's get a pizza tonight. Go to the middle. Oh, we're too low. Oh, oh a little bit too high. Oh, there's the P section. P I P. Got it. Pizza. That's how you look things up in Teradata. Now, what's fascinating is because things are sorted by row ID. Because once a block gets so big and splits into two, now think of it as, oh, I got A to L and M to Z. And that's the way it's going to work. So when you use the primary index value in that where clause, two things happen. The parsing engine says, that is on amp number two. And then when that goes to that amp, that says, I've got that in this block only. And so it's going to be a single amp, single block retrieve on all primary index lookups. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.